Mark Jeffries, God Given Talent Basketball. Brandon Bracey, Bracey Skills Clinics, and co-director of Team Rampage. Christopher Collins, Phoenix Fitness 24-7, co-director of YBA Youth Basketball Academy. Marcus Kirkland, Style of Others, that's my company. I'm the best trainer in the world. You see, they didn't say it. I'm going to say it, you know. Mm. Oh, also assistant coach, slash head coach, West Coast Hatton. Welcome back, a basketball trainer mentality. Um, remember, I'm the best trainer out of everybody. Stop we're just, saying that just, lie. We're just happy to be here. Stop you saying that know? lie. So the next uh, question is, is it okay to light your players up, I mean, yell at them, go in on them, but at what point is it too much, you know? Um, for me, it's tough. I think you have to be very careful now. I remember me playing, if a coach yelled at me, coach yelled at me, I couldn't go to my dad and be like, dad, coach yelled at me, he would look at me like, what? You better man up. So I couldn't, there was no going and complaining about it. I just had to deal with it. I think now, you know, parents are doing a great job being there for their kid, but they are kind of baby them in a way. So you gotta be kind of close. Like as a coach, you gotta be close. You can't say too much, can't get it. It's like, you gotta play a fine line, right? And um, you know, there's somebody here that yells at their kids like no other. I ain't pointing the fingers. <laughs> he goes in. If you ain't seen him coach, boy, he goes in. So, I love but, watching his IG stories. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, he, he be yelling at me. I be like, damn. But no. Every day, right? Hey, for real. But seriously though, like as me, I like a coach like that because he he wants the best for you, you know. And you gotta listen to what they're saying, not how they're saying it. So. Um, go ahead, Chris. You go ahead and tell us about, you know, <laughs> uh, I think, what is it, Tom Izzo? What's how you yeah, say? Izzo, yeah, Michigan he, State. Yeah, he went yeah. in on his player. Yeah, That's went, a big yeah. topic. So go ahead, man. Tell yeah, us about uh, how it is yelling at these kids. <laughs> have no for it. Okay. All right. So let's talk about it in three spaces, right? Let's just think about it. So let's talk about it as a player, right? Yeah. Gener generationally, yes, it is different, right? Um, I think you know, around our age, we're the last generation that could really tolerate it. The yeah. mental toughness of being really like pushed, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, and um, and you know you, it's always a tough fine line. Like you have to be emotionally aware, mm -hmm. right? There's you, you coach individually. You don't treat every kid the yeah. same way. You no, know? just like we don't train every kid the same mm -hmm. way. But there are certain things we know we got to pull out of them sometimes when we feel like they're not giving their best. Yeah. As a coach, you have to do that with like 12 to 15 guys. You know what I mean? Um, when you're training, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, now you talk about the aspect of a uh, coach. Um, as I said before, you have to kind of play the psychology. You got to know your players. You got to know them as people mm -hmm. and know what lines you can cross with them. Um, as trainers, I think it's even very interesting because even when I train, I joke with my guys and things like that, but there are times when guys come in and they're not giving me their all. Mm -hmm. And I have to shut that shit down like right away. Yeah. Like, no, they, okay, you're not wasting my money, you're not wasting, mm -hmm. or you're not wasting your money, you're not wasting my time. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you're not coming to put in work, just get out of my gym. Yeah. Because there's guys right there right out the door. And a uh, coach told me once, uh, he said, uh, uh, trainer lights a fire under you, a coach brings a fire out of you. You know what I mean? And and in this generation, they have to learn. You that, look that quote up on, on Spark Notes. Huh? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I I coach, my, my, my college like coach told me that. He, he told that. me that. It's back in Trinity. Coach, you love loving to death. But um, no, uh, that that's always kind of stuck with me, and it's true. Like, I, I do. I am an aggressive coach. Anyone who's seen me coach, I'm – a legendary universal asshole, but they do know I love them. They do know I do it out of love. I do it out of passion. It's never anger. It's always, you know, accountability. And you, it is a fine line. I do know when to stop. I do know when to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. And you have to be aware of that as coaches. There are some who go too far, mm -hmm. who are obviously the guys that get fired or the guys who don't last long and they don't last long in AAU and they have bad reputation. There are guys who do too little. Those those quiet guys that sit and don't say a word. So, so Mark, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of what he was saying, like especially the accountability. I'm I'm kind of the same way. You know, I always tell all my guys like, I'm I'll be the hardest one on you, but I'll be the most person who'll give you so much love. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that I do, I always try to tell them like, it's not like you said, it's not the anger. I try to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Like if everything that comes out of my mouth, even if you don't like hearing, is the truth. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm telling you, hey, you, your left is weak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at me because that's what I see. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you have no handles or you can't shoot. You know, that's not me talking shit. That's, that's me. Fact. That's facts. So, you know, you and like, 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 like you were saying, like, everybody's different. You know, I have kids. I have kids who want to be pushed. Mm-hmm. And I have kids who kind of like, you know, tippy toe on the line. So you just got to figure out, you know, like you said, play the psychology game. And another thing real quick. So we'll wrap this up. But the parents, I think uh, they don't, they take it too personal. You know, they, they don't understand we're coaches and trainers, so they got to kind of back up and let us do that. Yeah. So when you have the parent kind of like, sometimes the players will be fine, but the parent will be mad about it. Yeah. So like I said, you got to f- find that line. But, hey, subscribe. Remember, I'm the best coach. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about three braids or ears over here. Uh, and what kind of shoes are those? I, 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 I don't hate on these. I don't <laughs> hate on these. You see the socks. You know these are right here. You see the YBA. You see the brand, right? Okay. Just showing that up.